While I was visiting Oahu, I was lucky enough to meet up with my friend Mosey and we explored some cool little spots together. This is Kaena Point. It's on the most northwestern tip of Oahu. Pretty incredible. So Oahu was made by three volcanoes that merged over time, which is pretty cool. The oldest one was Kaena. Um, it used to rise over 3,000 feet above the ocean, but now it's sunken down below it, which is kind of rad. Ooh, look at this plant, dude. Oh, yeah. It smelled oh, stinky, <laughs> and it was on it's purpose. Totally it was to draw flies because that's its preferred pollinator. So, fly, yeah, interesting, right? Okay, also on this trail, there's no fresh water. There's not really any shade, and it's it rocky it. and sandy. Those fences were put up to protect the wildlife in the area, like the albatross. Oh, they were so cool. Huge white birds just gliding around on the crazy winds of this island. And then you would see a little nest in the grass and their fluffy brown babies. It was adorable. Um, but anyway, what happened? Um, I guess wild dogs used to come in and they would just like ravage the nest. So um, the state has put up the fences to help protect the wildlife. The Kaena Point Trail is 2.5 or maybe 2.7 miles out to the end, and then you would turn around and walk back to your vehicle. We didn't end up going all the way out. We just sort of walked out as long as we wanted to, just depended on time and stuff. Um, beautiful, right? <laughs> I mean, it was basically this the entire time, just watching these aqua waters crash onto the black volcanic shoreline. I mean, stunning, <laughs> really. It was a feast for the eyes and it is really windy. I'll say that. So it's hot out there since there's no shade, but the wind is pretty nice. Ooh, so there's also supposed to be a big sea cave that is the legendary home of Nanawe, the Hawaiian shark man god. We didn't really have the time to make it all the way out to the sea cave though, which I'm kind of sad about. So I guess I have to go back. There is a beach for swimming out there too, but this is not it. This is the one shaded spot that we found while out on the hike. It's a pretty nice little nest of trees that you can stand under and get some relief. Ooh, found more albatross nest. And they got our attention because they were doing this funny little dancing situation, bobbing their heads, clappering their little beaks. So we looked it up later. Um, the only thing I could really find is that it might be like a courtship ritual and that albatross pair up for life. Neat, right? fossilized white coral beaches too, mixed in with the black rocks. Yeah. I'm no biologist, but I believe this is a monk seal. I only know that because I read the informational sign and they're known to be in the area. <laughs> so cool. It was making these little barking, funny noises and making its way over to another one that is laying out in between the rocks. You can hardly even see them because they're so black and shiny like the rocks around them. Good move. Mostly we just kind of hung out on the beach and took it all in.
I couldn't really help myself from poking around in the tide pools a little bit though. <laughs> All I found was a dead snowflake eel. I mean, it was pretty even though it was dead. Uh, thanks so much for helping me identify that one, guys. I like to examine all the little things. <laughs> I think it's important to look closely at the land as we're visiting new places, you know? I like watching how the earth has been changing over time and just imagining all the processes that it goes through. It's really fascinating when we give it our thought. I did not make this, but I appreciate the effort. Also, this is a pillbox. That's what they call them. It's like a old military thing. Um, and this graffiti on the side, the little thing in front of the girl is what they call a masubi. It's like rice wrapped in seaweed with a piece of spam on top. I thought it was going to be kind of gross, to be honest with you, but it was quite delicious. Albatross, a seal, um, other birds, and a centipede. On, Ooh, no touchy. Little piece <laughs> really, don't touch them. Oh. Not anymore. Full colored. There was a really beautiful set of we saw on a hike out here. It was like all black and then one white stripe on it. Oh, Ooh. really? Yeah. After the hike, we grabbed an ice cream and headed to the beach. Everybody sat and enjoyed the sunset and I got going, but we planned out more adventures. <laughs>